It's a time for... You know what it is? Leave it in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. In this video, we are going to take a close look at the Retro Game Arcade 16-Bits Classic Edition Mini TV Game Console. And that's really mouthful. Okay, but what are we going to get? That is what I always love to check out. Plug and play devices. I love these classic arcade look like plug and play devices. But what are we actually going to get? So let's find out. Okay, so I already mentioned this is a plug and play device. So I have no idea why they're still making these things. Maybe there are collectors out there. Let me know in the comments if you're a collector of plug and play devices. In total, 145 classic games. So that's quite a lot. But I'm curious what kind of games. It seems to be needing four AA batteries, and holy crap, that's a lot. But 16-bit game, that's something you don't see very often. It is only for one player, so we have, don't have the options to plug in an extra controller, so if you want to play it together with your buddy. Nope, it is not possible. All right, so let's see what's inside. What I do like about this packaging, that it's all bust up, but it looks kind of nice. Got this kind of a window for... What the... Seriously? Oh, I know, I didn't plan it. I didn't. This is more like a live unboxing. Oh, damn this! <laughs> Look at how the soldering is! Oh boy. Oh, this is going to be another project. This is going to be more like a retro game arcade. Plug and play, fix video. Oh boy. Let's get it out. And let's see if we can even fix it. I still got my soldering iron laying around, so I can maybe do some soldering. Come on, of course, the stupid paper, everything is stuck. Go away. Everything is just freaking a nightmare. Hey, quality control in China? There is no quality control. Oh, I'm done with this. Okay, let's get this cable out. Alright. Oh boy. Okay, so let's take a close look at the toilet paper manual like always. Hmm, is there any information? Battery instruction. Here, yeah, quick over view for what you're going to get yeah nothing really interesting general instructions and the language i can't even understand so well, what are we going to do with about that because this is an issue but that was more like what just happened it's more like did they forget to put the screws in or oh man i think i have no idea what is going on here what what's didn't even put the freaking screws in. They more like slapped it in the box. And there is a cable missing. But before we're going to try and make a fixed video, let's take a close look at this because this is quite interesting. They made a special PCB with micro switches. Okay, that is pretty cool. So normally we're going to get like a PCB with like the old school membrane stuff. But these, they got a nice click to it. But you can see like these are like the membrane buttons that i've seen before of course with the old school controllers but a joystick if you can fix it let's see if you can fix it and we can play some games that would be cool ah oh, so luckily i could fix it um the only thing that was more like a loose wire so we're not a big of a deal and uh, let's play some games but first of all i grabbed myself some new parker so i can basically close the casing itself because I don't want to happen that to me again, that's going to be falling apart. How can you freaking unbelievable? It's just freaking unbelievable. They just forgot to put the freaking screws in. Okay, so let's take a close look at the game list. 145 games. So I'm curious if they're like real all Sega games or are like horrible games like the cheap homebrew stuff. Looks kind of interesting. James Bond, yeah, do I look? Quite some different ones. Mm. So far, so good. Well, for the people wondering, so if there are like games that can have like a save function normally, you don't have it with stuff like this. Nope, no save game. So let's try some games and let's see how is the gameplay and how is the sound because that is the biggest issue with these things. Okay, so let's try a little bit of Beefcake and Wolfie. That sounds slightly different, but it is not sounding that horrible. Beefcake time, people. Beefcake time. Beefcake. Mm, mm. 
So let's try another one. I'm guessing like the reset button over here. And we can reset back through the menu. Crank up the volume. This sounds slightly different than the original game. I have played this game so much. But the overall performance are not that bad. Oh crap. All the sound effects are here. Sometimes I have this feeling that this joystick has a slight delay. Or I just need to get used to this wiggle stick, of course. That is possible. Wiggle, wiggle stick. Look at this, a kind of Russian version or something like that. <laughs> what the hell? Speed of the game is exciting. Yeah. Going back to the 1990s with blast processing power. All the sound effects are here. So it's slightly different. Again, sorry, I'm just repeating myself, I know. Okay, so the ultimate test, in my opinion. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that sounds really messed up. Oh, I listen to the soundtrack so much, so I can basically dream this. Yeah, that sounds completely off. Yeah, especially with this game, I can hear it. Well, we can play it arcade style with the joystick. With the wiggle stick. Fly away, fly away. Do it street rage off to the way. Fly away. Okay, let's go. Who wants some? Who wants some? You first? Okay. Come on. Come on. Soundtrack sounds really horrible. But I think it's still a really fun product to play on. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with this retro game arcade plug and play 16-bit product. Yeah, and overall the quality is pretty damn poor. But yeah, let me be honest, man. It's like if you you're not even paying a lot of money for this device. Like the buttons are membrane. The joystick, I do like it that they make more like this, let's say kind of a weird looking arcade joystick. I like the clickish sound but the feel is quite horrible in my opinion the game collection it's a mix of uh, some homebrew games and some 16-bit games to be honest not really bad so yeah let me know in the comments what do you think of this i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit the bell become one of the wicked family and i will see you in the next video